enter also into the glorious land. Now, what is the glorious land? That is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yes, sir. When you shall therefore see the excuse me, abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, stand in the holy place. Remember we read that in Matthew 24? Mm -hmm. Read that verse over again. He shall enter also into the glorious land. Now he's going to enter into the glorious land. That's Jerusalem. Go ahead. And many countries shall be overthrown. Uh huh. But these shall escape out of his hand. Go ahead. Even Edom and Moab. Hold and it now. Hold it now. I thought Edom was done away with. You know, Edom, Edom, Edom has, has disappeared. Everybody said, well, they have been destroyed and all this stuff. But look, Edom is going to be around when the Lord comes. Edom, Moab, who else? And the chief of the children of Ammon. Uh-huh. Moab, Ammon, Edom. All these people are sitting right there in the land right now. They still sit. Who do you think is sitting in Jerusalem right now? Or Israel right now. All three of these are sitting right there. Take that plane, brother. And Edom is the one that is calling himself a Jew right now that is sitting in Jerusalem mm -hmm. right now. That's it. That's Edom. But go ahead and read. 42. Uh huh. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries. Go ahead. And the land of Egypt shall not escape. Uh huh. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold. And of silver, uh -huh. and over all the precious things of Egypt and Libyans and of the Ethiopian shall be at his steps. Go ahead. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Go ahead. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to, to destroy and utterly to make away many. Now who are these tidings out of the east? We're talking about Russia and their allies. That's who's coming out of the east. Russia and their allies. Fathers east, you go. You go. You in Russia. The fathers north, you go. You still in Russia. This is what we talking about. The Russians and their allies. China. Go ahead, and read. And he shall plant the tabernacles of the palace between the seas and the glorious holy mount. Hold it now. Hold it now. So he said he gonna plant a tabernacle there. What is this tabernacle of the, He gonna sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Mm -hmm. So now he gonna plant his. Tabernacle right there in the glorious land in Jerusalem. That's it. That's the glorious land. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yet he shall come to his end, uh -huh. and none shall help him. But that's where he's going to be stopped at, right there that's in it. Jerusalem. Yes, the Lord going to shut him down right there. Amen. But he's going to wreak all this havoc on the earth first. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord going to shut him down. It is written. So you better pay attention to this, because this is shortly to come. This is not too far hence. Let's go now. Let's look at them. Let's look at these ones from this coming from the from the east and look at who's gonna put together this battle. Cause, Cause when he started wreaking wreaking this havoc in Jerusalem, and, and, and he's gonna take over fourth part of the earth, which we're not gonna read, which we could. He's gonna take over fourth part of this earth. But then here come the tidings from the east. Right? So it's going, it's going, if the tidings from the east is uh, the tidings from the east is coming, it's gonna be a battle DNA. That's it, that's so right. let me show you pulling the strings on this battle though. Who doing this? Let's go to, we had uh, Isaiah, the uh, 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 13th chapter. Isaiah 13. See, the Lord is calling the shots. Man ain't doing nothing. Uh, uh, that they, they, no, He's not doing what he want to do. God calling the shots. Make that plain, brother. And they following, following right along with it and don't even know. They doing doing everything God saying that that, that they gonna do is written right here in the Bible and they don't even know. Isaiah eleven and one. Isaiah eleven and I'm sorry. Isaiah thirteen and one. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. The burden of Babylon, which is Isaiah the son of Amos, did see. Uh huh. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Go ahead. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they. May go into the gates of, of the noble. Now, he said the burden of Babylon. Now, we're not talking about old Babylon. Because Nebuchadnezzar Babylon, that, that, uh, they dead and buried already, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Babylon the Great, the mother of Holods, the abomination of earth, over in Revelation 17 chapter. This is what we're dealing with. Go ahead and read. I have commanded my sanctu sanctified ones. Uh -huh. I have also called my mighty ones. For my anger. Go ahead. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Now let's see where they're coming from. Go ahead and read. The noise of a multi multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, uh -huh. a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations. Uh-huh. Gathered together, the Lord of hosts, 
mustered the host of the battle. Oh, so all these nations come together and the Lord is doing this. He mustering the host of the battle. So the East going to come against the West and here we go. World War III. Mm -hmm. We talking about great tribulation. But so far, do you see a rapture? Come on, brother. No, sir. You don't see no rapture, do you? And then the Lord, he get ready, he mustering the host of the battle and getting this thing together where all the nations get ready to fight. You heard of it for it's called Armageddon. Mm -hmm. But so far, we don't see no rapture because for those that pre-tribulation rapture, the Lord can't come. You know, he got a big minister on TV talking about the Lord can't come except he rapture his people up first. You know, it's got to happen before tribulation. No, sir, you don't see no tribulations, do you? I mean, you don't see no uh, 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 rapture, do you? That's right, brother. Come on. Right? That's Go right. ahead and read. Though. What verse you at? Verse 5. Go ahead. They come from a far country. Uh -huh. From the end of heaven. Go, you see that? He said they come from a far country. From the end of heaven. He called this earth heaven, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Finish that. Even the Lord. Uh -huh. And the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. You see that? The Lord doing this, ain't he? He come to, the Lord has come to destroy this land. But so far, we don't see no rapture, do we? No, sir. Let's go now. Skip down to verse, uh, skip down to verse uh, 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 9. Skip down to verse 9 and read it. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Uh-huh. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. So now, he said the day of the Lord cometh, both with uh, cruel, but both with wrath and fierce anger. When, it's, when the book talks about the day of the Lord, it's not talking about the Sabbath day. It's not talking about Sunday. It's talking about when the Lord has come to pour his wrath out on this earth. Go ahead and read, though. To lay the land desolate. Uh-huh. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Go ahead. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. Uh-huh. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. Uh-huh. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Now, he just put a date on it, didn't he? He telling you this was going to happen in the end time. And he's going to put the moon out and the sun out and the stars going to fall. So we know we're talking the entire stuff now, don't we? Indeed. Go ahead and read. And I will punish the world for their evil. Oh, and so he's going to punish the world for their evil. Well, what evil have they done? They have transgressed the laws and broken the everlasting covenant, didn't they? That's it. This is the evils that they have done. Go ahead and read. And the wicked for their iniquity. Uh-huh. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Uh huh. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Uh -huh. Even a man that, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Now, do you see a rapture yet? You don't see no rapture, do you? Anybody see a rapture yet? No, sir. Go ahead and read. Thirteen. Uh huh. Therefore, I will shake the heaven. Uh huh. And the earth shall remove out of her place. Ooh, you see that Lord when He come back, He ain't playing, is He? No. Everybody think he's going to come in and do a secret uh, 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 rapture and all this stuff. He got to come secret. What do he got to come and, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and make it a secret for? I'm coming and I'm going to slap everybody to get in my way and who's going to stop me? He ain't got to make it no secret who's going to stop him. Nobody. Go ahead and read. Back at 13. Uh -huh. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. Go ahead. And the wrath of the Lord of hosts. And in the day of his fierce anger. Go ahead. And it shall be as the chase grow, as a sheep that no man take up up. They shall every man turn his own people. Uh huh. And flee every one into his own land. Now that be the Chinese and wherever they are, they're going back to China. Mm -hmm. You know, you Russian, you going back to Russia. Now we supposed to be African, what we going back to? We ain't going to we ain't going to Africa because we don't know you. Go over there now and see how well accepted you are in Africa. You know, you got a brother keep talking about we African. No, we're not African. People call us African American. We're not African. But my point, my, my question is, where are we gonna go? And then he said everybody gonna flee this country, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Africa is a continent. Make that plan, brother. So where are we gonna go? Chinese, they got their own country. They, Mexicans, they go right, by, go right across the border, the border, right? Got Mexico. Where we gonna go? But and then that should give you a sign of who we are, right there. We the only ones that don't have a country. 
That should, that should let you know something right there. We the only ones that don't have a country. That should let you know that we are the Israelites. Because we the only ones that don't have a country. Preach. Well, anyway, go ahead. Where was you at? 15. Go ahead. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Uh-huh. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. And they're going to do what? They're going to fall, fall by, by the sword. sword. Where your rapture at, though? Where your rapture at? Go ahead and read. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces uh -huh. before their eyes. Go ahead. Their houses shall be spoiled, their wives ravished. Uh -huh. Behold, I will stir up the, the Medes against them. The Medes? Who is that? That's the Russians, ain't it? Yes, sir. What verse you at? 17. Go ahead. We shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Uh-huh. Their, bo their bowls also, also shall dash the young men to pieces. Uh-huh. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Go ahead. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see that? The Lord is going to overthrow them. And when he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Read that one over. Read it over again. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldees, excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh-huh. So now, so now, so the Lord is coming back and overthrow this world just like he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And everybody got it, didn't they? They did. Everybody got it. Now, let's go to uh let's go to uh 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 uh, uh, Joel. And let's look at this again. Joel, the second chapter. Let's look at this again. Because, you know, you, you will recognize this battle right here and what's going to happen after this battle. So this is during the battle right here we get ready to read about now. Let's see if we see a rapture. Because you got some people that pre-tribulation rapture. Then you got some people mid-tribulation rapture, which means the, uh, the rapture is going to happen during the tribulations. Right? Let's see, because we're reading about it. We're we reading about the battle right now. We're reading about great tribulations right now. So I don't see so far, I don't see no rapture at all. Joel 2, though. Joel 2, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Joel 2 and 1. You got it? Go ahead and read it. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Uh-huh. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Go ahead. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is near at hand. Now we're talking about the day of the Lord. And what is the day of the Lord? We're talking about when the Lord is getting ready to pour his wrath out on this earth. Right? Go ahead and read. A day of darkness, of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong. There have not been even the, the light. Neither shall be any more after it. Now hold on. Now we read about that in Matthew 24 chapter. He said it's going to be a day of destruction that had never been before and shall never be again, didn't he? That's right, brother. Go ahead and read. Even to the years of many generations, uh -huh. a fire devoured before them. Behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness. Uh huh. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Now hold it now. Also, so we're reading about the, the tidings that's coming from the east, then, aren't we? Teach, brother. This is what we're reading about the Russians. We go ahead and read. The appearance of them is as an appearance of horses. Uh huh. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Go ahead. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap. Now hold it now, because Daniel don't, I'm sorry, uh, Joel don't know what he really looking at, so he just likened it to something in the creation that he knows about. But he's looking at war and artillery right here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stumble. Uh huh. As a strong people set in battle array. Go ahead. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. Uh huh. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. Hold it now. He said they shall run like mighty men. But where is the rapture at? This is during the great tribulations right here. This is during, like they say, mid tribulation. Okay, we're in mid tribulations right now. Where is the rapture at? There is none. I ain't want to scream on nobody or nothing like that. But I just want to make sure we got this thing right. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Uh huh. They shall march every one in his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Go ahead. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. Uh huh. And when they, 
And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. There's going to be so many of them. I'm going to show you how many it's going to be. And it's going to be so many of them that if you kill a few of them, it's not going to even break their ranks. They still coming. Go ahead and read. Verse 9. Uh-huh. They shall run to, to and fro in the city. Uh-huh. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. Go ahead. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. Go ahead. The earth shall quake before them. Ooh. The heavens shall tremble. Uh -huh. The sun and the moon shall be dark. Uh -huh. And the stars shall withdraw their hold shine. Hold it now, hold it now. We just got to read that over in Isaiah, didn't we? Yes, so we talking about the same time, aren't we? Indeed. This is when the Lord going to come and he's going to have this man fighting against them, each other. World War Three, Great tribulations. Make it plain, brother. See, the sun going to be dark and the moon's not going to give a light. Go ahead. And the Lord shall utter. And he said, the stars shall withdraw their shine. Go ahead, verse uh -huh. 11. Go and ahead. the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Uh-huh, his army. His army. He got his army doing this. He the one calling the shots. That's right. They know these people don't even believe in God. But he's still using them, though, isn't he? Indeed. To do his bidding, right? Indeed. Bro. Go ahead and read. For his camp is very great. Uh huh. For he is for he is strong that executeth his word. Go ahead. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and and who can abide it? Now, so he said the great day of the Lord is very strong and terrible. Who can abide it? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go to Psalm ninety first chapter because you know I just can't tell you that uh, uh, the Lord not gonna uh, ratchet nobody else. Let me show you where the the, uh, the people of the Lord are gonna be. 90 Psalms 91. And you can take this to the bank. He might not deliver me, but I sure enough know this, that this is where the saints of the Lord are going to be. Make that plain. Psalm 91. And we're going to pick it up at verse uh, Psalm 91 and 1. This is where the saints of the Lord are going. Psalm 91 and 1. Go ahead and read. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High oh. shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. This why you. This why the Lord's people are going. They going to a secret place. I'm gonna show you what this secret place is gonna be. But keep reading. Verse two. Uh huh. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Go my ahead. God, in Him will I trust. Uh huh. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Go ahead. And from the noosome pestilence. Uh huh. He shall cover thee with His feathers. And under his wings shall thou, shall thou trust. Uh huh. His truth shall be thy shield and, and buckler. Skip down to verse 7. Go ahead. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Uh huh. And ten thousand at thy right hand. Now we're looking at great tribulations right here. He said, A thousand are going to fall at thy right hand and ten thousand at thy left. Go ahead. But it shall not come nigh thee. Uh huh. Only with thine eyes shall. Thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. See, so <laughs> he gonna see the reward of who? The wicked. Ain't the Lord coming back to destroy the wicked? Make it plain. That, that's what we're looking at right here in uh, 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 Psalms, the 91st chapter. Where the Lord's people are gonna be. They're gonna be in a secret place. He said, You're gonna look out and you're gonna see a thousand fall to your left and ten thousand at your right. But it's not gonna come near you. Go ahead and read. Verse 9. Uh huh. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Go ahead. There, there shall no evil befall thee. Uh -huh. Neither shall any plague come near. I told you what no will happen to the servants of God during the great tribulation, didn't I? He said, No evil gonna come near you. Huh. Read that verse again. There shall no evil befall thee. Uh huh. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Uh huh. For he shall give his angels charge over thee uh -huh. to keep thee in all thy ways. He said, ain't nothing going to happen to you because he's going to have his angels have a charge over you. That's right, brother. That's what I'm saying. The Lord know how to deliver the godly out of the hour of temptation, don't he? Make that plain. Now, let's see, because he said he's going to have a secret place for him, right? Yes, sir. Let's see what his secret place is going to be. Let's go to Revelations, the 12th chapter. I mean, this thing is for real. Yes, sir. This is for real. Yes, Everybody sir. think we crazy and we don't know what we're talking about. But I bet you one thing, we know how to read this book. Make it plain, brother. We know how to read this book. Revelations 12, and we're going to pick it up in verse 1. Revelations 12 and 1. Let's start. Let's see what this secret place is going to be. 
Revelation 12 and 1. Everybody got it? If you got it, say amen. 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 Go ahead and read. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, uh -huh. and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Go ahead. Now this this talking about something, but we ain't going to even get off into that right now, but go ahead. And she being with child, crying, travailing in birth, uh -huh. and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. Go ahead. And his tail drew the third parts of the stars of heaven. Uh-huh. And did cast them to the earth. Uh-huh. So and then it's Satan when he got kicked out. Mm -hmm. You know, he took a third part of the angels with him. And they got cast out where? To the earth. To the earth. They didn't go to hell, did they? Come on. They on the earth. Go ahead and read. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. Now this woman represents Israel. And I should have told you the moon is represent. I mean, the the uh, the, the uh, uh, it said and uh, it said there appeared the first one. There appeared a great one in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon. The sun represent the father of Israel, which was Jacob. The moon represent his mother, and under her feet, uh, upon her head, were twelve stars. Those twelve stars represent the twelve tribes of Israel. But go ahead and read though. What verse you leave off at? Uh, four. Go ahead. Start back at four. Uh huh. And his tail drew the third parts of the stars of heaven. Uh huh. And did cast them to the earth. Go ahead. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. Now the woman is representing the children of Israel, the nation of the children of Israel. Go ahead and read. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now who is this child that was born? This the child is born is Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Go ahead and read. And she brought forth a man child. Who was to rule all nations and with a rod of iron. Hold it now. He going to rule the nation with what? Rod of iron. So he ain't coming down all cuddly and sweet and everything like everybody tried to try, try to make him to be, right? Preach, brother. He even showed you that when he came into the temple and turned over the chains, the money chains and stuff, and got made and sat down and made a whip and started whipping the people in the temple. They said, what sign is this? Well, this is the sign he was making right here. You read about in Revelation. He going to rule the nations with a rod of iron. That's the sign that he was giving you. Go ahead and read. And her child was caught up into the God. Uh-huh. And to his throne. Go ahead. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had place. She had a hold place. Hold on now. Said, God. Hey, hold on. That child was caught up to God. So if the child was caught up to God, then how many of you got into his throne? How many of you got sitting on the throne then? Two. Two. If the child was caught up to heaven, to went to God to sit on his throne, and God was already there, wasn't he? But then the child got caught up there. And he's sitting on the throne with him, right? So how many sitting up there then? Two. Two. That's plain, ain't it? Indeed. Everybody talking about there's only one God manifested in three, uh, three manifestations. He was God in the creation. He was a son in redemption. And now he is the Holy Ghost in church. I'm like, man, please. <laughs> if he's the Holy Ghost in the church now, who up in heaven? Who you praying to then? If he the Holy Ghost up in the church now, who in heaven? And who are you praying to? It ain't the Holy Ghost you praying to, is it? Go ahead and read, though. Verse 6. Uh-huh. And the woman fled into the wilderness. Oh, wait a minute. She fled where? Into the wilderness. Into the wilderness. Go ahead and read. Where she hath placed a place prepared of God. Uh-huh. That they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score Holy, days. Now, that just put another spin on it, didn't it? He said, <laughs> he said and, and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of, of, her, of God, right? Yes, sir. That they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three days, three, three score, score days. days. How many, how many uh, years, uh, three years is that? Three, three and, and a half years. years. This is the time of great tribulations we read about right now. Mm -hmm. He just went all the way beyond us. He said, and the woman fled into the wilderness she, at, at, uh, where she had a place prepared of God. Then we read about that secret place in Psalm the 91st chapter. This is that secret place right here. Prepared of God. Mm -hmm. And then he said, prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. That's three and a half years. That's how many years it's going to be for great tribulation. Three and a half years. I know what people say. It's going to be seven years. Mm -hmm. Wait for seven. No, and you're going to be caught right in the middle of them. Great tribulations. Yes, sir. Uh, Three and a half years. Indeed. Now, 
Skip down to verse uh, uh skip down to verse 13, read it. Let's move on. Skip down to verse and 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, uh -huh. he persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man child. Uh -huh. And to the woman were given to two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place. Where she, where she is nourished for a time uh -huh. and a time Hold and a half a time. Now, time, excuse me, that's one year. Mm -hmm. Times, that's two years, so now we're dealing with three years, right? Yes, sir. And a half a time, what is a half a time? Three and a half. Three yeah. and a half years. Not, not no uh, seven-year tribulation, but three and a half years. But so far, do you see a rapture? No, sir. They was carried off into the wilderness into a secret place, right? That's right. And that secret place is the wilderness, not up in heaven. Not up in heaven, but in the wilderness. Let's go. Let's go to Isaiah, the 35th chapter. We ain't got but a few more after this. Isaiah 35 and 1. Let's show you this wilderness, what's going to happen in this wilderness. Isaiah 35 and 1. We're gonna, and then we're going to deal with that rapture thing, or, uh, uh, and what, what the Bible say, caught up. Because that's what the Bible say, caught up. Not no rapture. Isaiah 35. And one. Isaiah 35 and 1. When you get it, go ahead and read it. 35 and 1. Go ahead. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. For who? For the Lord's service that's coming. That's the secret place. Go ahead and read. And the desert shall rejoice. Uh huh. And blossom as the rose. Hold it now, because this is something to come. He said the desert gonna blossom as a rose. Because if it blossom as a rose now, people gonna be over there, ain't they? So we're talking about when the Lord comes, that's when he's going to make it blossom like, yes, like a rope for his, for his secret place, for his people. That's right, brother. Go ahead and read. It shall blossom abundantly uh -huh. and rejoice even with joy and singing. Uh -huh. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of, the Car of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord uh -huh. and the excellency of our God. Go ahead. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with a vengeance. Uh -huh. Even God with re recompense, he will come and save you. You see that? And he will come and save you. Told you, that's like he said, no uh, weapon formed against you shall prosper. And he said, but they shall not, when well, you're going to see 10,000 fall, 1,000 fall by your left hand and 10,000 fall by your right, but it shall not come near thee, right? That's right. That's where you're going to be in that secret place in the wilderness. Make that plain, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, uh, then, uh, then he said, well, read that verse uh, 5 4 again. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, uh -huh. be strong. Fear not. Uh -huh. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Uh -huh. Even God with a recompense. He will come and save he you. He will come and save you. Go ahead and read. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Uh -huh. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart. And the tongue of the dumb sing. Uh -huh. For in the wilderness shall waters break out. And streams in the desert. Go ahead. You see what the Lord going to do with his people? Yes, Water's going to break out. Streams going to break out in the desert. That is really something, ain't it? This is what the Lord going to do for his people. During this time of great tribulations. You ain't going to heaven. Make that plain. You understand? You ain't, at no time are you going to heaven. Caught up? Yeah, caught up. But are you going to heaven when you get caught up? Let's see. Go ahead and read, though. Do you see what he's going to do during great tribulations? Ain't no rapture before, is it? Ain't no rapture doing the great tribulation, neither is it. Come on. Because this is where the people of the Lord are going to be doing the great tribulation. They're going to be going to the wilderness. They're going to be in the wilderness. Go ahead and read. Verse 7. Uh-huh. And the parched ground shall become a pool. Uh-huh. And the thirsty land springs of water. And the habitations of dragons, where each lake Go ahead. shall be grass with reeds and rushes. Uh-huh. And a highway shall be there. Oh, it's going to be a highway there? Why is it going to be a highway there? Go ahead. And a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Because this is the way the people of God are going to come in through this wilderness. Through this highway. Go ahead and read. The unclean shall not pass over it. Oh, so if you ain't right, you ain't coming this way. Go ahead. But it shall be for those, the war, the warfaring men. Uh-huh. Those, those fools shall not ear their, therein. Go ahead. No lions shall be there. 
nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. Oh, ain't gonna be no animals there neither. We don't be scared of no animals when you get there. We go ahead and read. It shall not be found there. Uh huh. But the redeemed shall walk there. The, but the redeemed shall walk there. Go ahead and read. And the ransom of the Lord shall return uh -huh. and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy uh -huh. upon their heads. Go ahead. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and science shall flee away. Now let's go to uh, let's go to Daniel the twelfth chapter, and uh, uh, we're gonna pick it back up at the great tribulations again. I just wanted to show you what's gonna happen to the what the people what the people of God are gonna be. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be no rapture. You yeah, everybody gonna still be here on the earth doing it before the tribulations and during the tribulation. That's right, brother. You understand? Yes. Sir. Ain't gonna be no rapture. That's right. Not yet. And but it ain't gonna be no rapture. Ain't period. Be no rapture. Peace. Ain't gonna be no rapture, period. Let's go to uh, 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 Daniel the 12th chapter. Daniel 12 and 1. And Daniel 12, we're gonna pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read it. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Uh huh, now this doing the great tribulation. Michael gonna stand up, go ahead. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Uh huh. And there shall be a time of trouble, uh -huh. such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So now I just brought you right back to the Great Tribulation again, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Uh huh. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall, shall awake. Go ahead. Some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Uh huh. And they that be wise. So now we looking at we looking at the resurrection here, aren't we? Yes, sir. But this, but, but but before this happened, though, did you see a, a rapture? You didn't see that, did you? Now we after the great. We're gonna deal with after the great tribulation. But go ahead and read. Verse three. Uh huh. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Uh huh. Now this is after the tribulations, isn't it? Go ahead. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Uh huh. Many shall run to and fro. So now we're talking about the time of the end, aren't we? Yes, he sir. said, told Daniel to shut up the book. Are we talking about the time of the end? Because many going to run to and fro. Go ahead. And knowledge shall be increased. And knowledge shall be increased. Go ahead. Then I, Daniel, look. And behold, there stood other two, the one on this Skip side. Skip down to verse 7. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, uh -huh. time, uh -huh. and a half. Well, did we just read that over in Revelation? Yes, sir. Three and a half years, great tribulations. Go ahead and read. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. All these things gonna be what? Finished. Finished. What do you see? Do you see a rapture yet? Anybody see a rapture yet? We don't see no rapture yet, do we? He said the dead gonna be raised, though, didn't he? But let's go to let's go to uh, 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 Revelation the thirteenth chapter. Revelation thirteen. And we're gonna pick it up. At verse 1, Revelation 13 and 1. 13 and 1. Remember that abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place? Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see who gave him his power. Revelation 13 and 1. Go ahead and read it. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. Uh huh. And I saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, uh -huh. and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Go ahead. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Uh -huh. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Did you see that? You, so we did it with that man of sin. The, the abomination of desolation. You see where he got his great power and seen great authority from? He got it from Satan, didn't he? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it was wounded to death. Uh-huh. 
and his deadly wound was healed. Go ahead. And all the world wondered after the beast. All the world was wondering after this beast. Go ahead, read. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. Uh huh. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Uh huh. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. Now he said it was given him, given him a, a mouth. Speaking great things and blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. For how long? Forty and two months. <laughs> and three and a half years, ain't it? Yes, sir. The great tribulation is gonna be three and a half years. Forty and two months. But you see who's gonna get this this one, this abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel Prophet his power? Satan is. Yes, sir. Let's go to uh let's go to Joel the third chapter. Joel three. We almost there. Joel 3. <coughs> Joel 3. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Joel 3 and 1. Joel 3 and 1. When you get it, go ahead and read it. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, and Jerusalem. Uh huh. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Go ahead. And plead with them there for my people and for my when plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Uh huh. Whom they have scattered among the nations. Go ahead. And parted my land. You see what he said? Gonna bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead for his people. Who? Israel. Israel. See, the Lord ain't done away with his people. No. But go sir. ahead and read. And they have. And they have cast lots for my people. Uh -huh. And have given a boy for a harlot. And sold a girl for wine. Go ahead. That they might drink. Now, the ones that call themselves Jews, they weren't sold for wine and, and for a harlot. No, sir. They the ones who had the slave ships. They was doing the selling of the slaves. But go ahead and read. Verse 4. Uh-huh. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Uh-huh. And all the coast of Palestine... Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Go ahead. In other words, you can't repay me for what you have done, but go ahead and read. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my, God, my goodly pleasant things. Go ahead. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, uh -huh. that ye might remove them far from their borders. Skip down to verse 9 and read. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Prepare war. Go ahead. Wake up, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Go ahead. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say... I am strong. Go ahead. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Then the cause thy mighty one to come down, O Lord. He said, let the weak say I'm strong, because you got the weakest countries in the world now getting their war artillery together, like North Korea. They're a weak country, small country, but they got nuclear weapons, though. Let the weak say I'm strong. Everybody racing for the nuclear weapons now, right? Mm -hmm. Even the smallest countries like Iran. They didn't know they talking about getting, having them nuclear weapons now, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Half their country starving, but the other half living rich and fine. And then they talking about nuclear weapons. But go ahead and read, though. Yes, sir. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh-huh. For there will I sit. To judge all the heathen round about. Go ahead. But put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, yet you get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow. Uh huh. For their wickedness this is, the is fat great. Fats overflow. What is this fats overflow? There's gonna be many Look. dead bodies. Right. Go ahead and read. For their wickedness is great, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Uh huh. For the day of the Lord is near it. Near in the valley of decision. Go ahead. The sun and the moon shall be dark. Oh, he can, he can put the time on it, ain't he? Just like uh, Isaiah did, just like Jesus did in Matthew. Yes, sir. He said the sun going to be dark. And go ahead and read. The sun and the moon shall be dark. Uh-huh. And the stars shall withdraw them, their shining. So now we're dealing with the same time. I just want to get you back to this, 
to the same time that we're dealing with. Read that. Read that verse 16, though. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion. Uh-huh. Utter his voice from Jerusalem. Go ahead. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. Go ahead. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. Uh-huh. And the strength of the children of Israel. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter. 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter. 2 Thessalonians 2. And we're going to pick it up at verse 4. 2 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 4. Sorry, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 4. When you get it, go ahead and read it. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 4. Go ahead. So that we over, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God. Uh huh. For your patience and faith in all your pers persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. Go ahead. Which is a manifest token of the righteous, of the righteous uh, judgment of God, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God. Go ahead. For which ye also suffer. Go ahead. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Uh huh. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. You see that? The Lord Jesus is going to be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Go ahead and read. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. Uh huh. And that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction. From the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. And from the glory of his power. You see what the Lord going to come back and do? Everybody think the Lord is going to come back and it's going to be some rapture and everything going to be all beautiful. Or it's going to be some secret. The Lord is coming and everybody is going to know it. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Verse 10. Uh-huh. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints. Uh-huh. To be admired in all them that believe. Go ahead. Because our testimony amongst you was believed. In that day. Now let's go to uh let's go to uh uh, uh Revelation the eighth chapter. We're gonna skip. I mean we're gonna um delete some of this. Revelation eight. I'm gonna cut this lesson. Revelation eight, and we're gonna pick it up at verse uh Revelation eight and two. Revelation eight and two. When you get it, go ahead and read. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God. Now this is the Lord coming to pour out his vengeance now. He said, and I saw the angel stood before God. Go in. And to them was given seven trumpets. Uh-huh. And another angel came and stood at the altar. Skip down to verse 7. The first angel sounded, and then there followed hell and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of trees were burnt up. Uh-huh. And all green grass was burnt up. Now, so he said he burned up the trees, the third part of the trees, and the grass, right? Mm -hmm. Now, well, let's go now. Let's go to Revelation. I just want to show you those seven angels are going to blow seven trumpets. Yes, sir. All right. Now, let's go to Revelation, the ninth chapter. Pick it up at verse 1. Revelation 9 and 1. Go ahead and read it. And the fifth angel sounded. Uh-huh. And I saw a star fall from heaven to the earth. Uh-huh. And to, and, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Go ahead. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose the smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Uh-huh. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. Uh-huh. And to them was given power. As the scorpions of the earth have power. Go ahead. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth. Uh -huh. Neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Go ahead. And to them it was... Now this is the Lord pouring out his wrath on the earth. Okay, he had a man to fight first. Then, he gonna, then they going to stop and say, let's deal with this thing in the sky. They don't know who they're dealing with, though. So now he's going to come and start pouring out his wrath on the earth. 
Because you want seven angels going to blow those seven trumpets, and they ain't blowing them seven trumpets for nothing. But when they blow out those seven trumpets, it's going to be seven vials of wrath that the Lord is going to pour out on this earth simultaneously. So when he blow that fifth trumpet, that that fifth angel is going to sound, then he's going to blow out the fifth, he's going to turn out the fifth vial of wrath on this earth. That he's going to do. Go ahead and read. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, uh -huh. but that they should be tormented five months. Uh -huh. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion. Go ahead. When he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find Hold it. Hold it now. I thought he was going to kill everybody. Because this is what the brother said. Ain't going to be no people alive here when the Lord come. After the first resurrection, it still ain't going to be no people alive here. Well, up until this time, we still got people, but you don't see no rapture, do you? No, sir. Go ahead and read. And shall desire to die. Uh-huh. Now, now, we are almost at the end now of the tribulation. We're almost at the end. This is when the Lord pouring out his wrath on this earth. But we ain't seen no rapture yet, have we? No, sir. Go ahead and read. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Uh-huh. And the shape they gonna look. They're going to try to die. But their death is going to flee from them. They're not going to be able to die at this time. Go ahead. And the shapes of the locusts were likened to horses, uh -huh. preparing to battle. Now, this is when, like we saw in Isaiah, the Lord mustered the host of the battle, and there was a, a great multitude upon the mountains and all that, noise of a chariot. He's looking at war equipment. The same thing Isaiah couldn't describe, the same thing right here that uh, 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 John is describing with things that he understands in the creation. He don't know nothing about no helicopters and tanks and all this stuff. So he's just giving them names that he recognized in the creation. Like scorpions and stuff, right? And locusts. Go ahead and read. And the shapes of the locusts were likened to the horses prepared into battle. Uh-huh. And on their head were as it were crowns like gold. And their faces were as the faces of men. Uh-huh. And they had hair as the hair of women. And their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Go ahead. And they had breastplates. As it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sounds of chariots of many horses running to battle. Go ahead. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their pet and their tails, and their power was to hurt hurt men five months. Uh-huh. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Go ahead. Whose name in in the Hebrew tongue Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name. Apollyon. Now we tell them with none other than Satan. Let's get down to verse 14. Go ahead. 14. Uh-huh. Saying to the sixth angel, to the sixth sixth angel, which had the trumpet, uh -huh. loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Go ahead. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. Go ahead. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 horsemen. 200,000,000. Oh, you remember them caves that was coming from the east mm -hmm. to the west? Yes, sir. And they said, and they're not going to break their ranks. You're going to kill a couple of them, but it's not going to break their rank. It's going to be 200,000,000 soldiers coming from the east through the great river of Euphrates. That's right, brother. That's, That's right. 200 million soldiers. You ain't never seen nothing like this before. That's right. And we'll never see nothing like this again. Teach. 200 million soldiers coming from the east to the west. Through that great river Euphrates. Go ahead and read. What verse you stop at? Back at 16. Go ahead. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. Let's go to Revelation the 16th chapter. Revelation 16 and 1. When you get it, go ahead and read. Read. Revelation 16 and 1. We're moving. Go ahead. 